piece of news, David Hasselhoff left Baywatch to star on Broadway in Jekyll and Hyde, and you know what? He's really scary. Take a look. There's such a fine line between a good man and a bad. David Hasselhoff on Broadway in Jekyll and Hyde. This is no day at the beach. on this no, show like you. No, I was looking for you here and there you were up there. Yeah, well these are the people that brought me to Broadway. So there you go. Know. There you go. Yeah. Now, has it been a dream of yours your whole life? Everything. You know, I started when I was eight years old. I saw a play um, called Rumpelstiltskin. Yeah. Had a theater in my basement. I did Peter Pan. Sure. And I said I wanted to go to Broadway and I took a, a wrong turn, which you got me The Young and the Restless. Knight Rider, right. and now Baywatch, and it took me, I'm 48 years old, and honest to God, it took me 40 years to get here, yeah. and the night before last, I walked on stage, and I just put my feet here, and I went, <sighs> yeah. dream 47B. Exactly. <laughs> I took me 40 years, and it was, it was, you know, there's a song in the show called This Is The Moment, yes. and, and that song meant so much to me, because it was really about doing what it was in my yeah, heart, yeah. you know, and what I wanted to do, and what I knew I could do. And I had to prove it, um, really to myself, you know, more than anything. And uh, I got through two shows, and uh, things are going very well. Yes, and I had my friends were there the first night, yes. and said you, they stood and screamed. Got a standing ovation. Yes, you did, and congratulations yeah, on thank that. Thank you, thank That's you. a wonderful, wonderful thing. Yeah. Have you seen thank you, thank That's you. a wonderful, wonderful thing. Yeah. Have you seen the, the fans, the Jackies? Because, you know, people love that show like no one... Jackies, my God, they have these Jackies, the people that see the show 70 times. Yeah. By the way, I brought hats for everybody. Did you oh, excellent! Yeah. yeah, you know, um, there is one lady, I actually saw Polly Bergen the other day. She's uh, performing at Feinstein's and kind of one of my, my mentor. And Polly, uh, next to, sitting next to me, was a lady who actually re received the first Grammy. And she's seen the show about... 50 times, and um, she's in her 70s, and I'll tell you, these people are just diehard fans because yeah. the show is it's one of the most incredible scores. It is. And it's, it's, it's a very difficult role to do every night. I have such anxiety, you know, trying to just get out there and get through it, and, but it's working. It was, uh, it was a hard move coming up here, though, without the family. Yeah, I'll They're bet. They're here now. Though. They are? They're here. They're here. They're here. The kids. kids. Are, yeah, my wife is here. We, we got set up. We're right down the street from you. Yeah. And I got them in school, and I said, this is Daddy's moment, and you need to be here to share it with me. And I tell you, I love I love New York. Yeah. I mean, you get this when you walk down the street. You, yo, yo, David, where are the bays? Where's Baywatch? Yo, Nightwatch. Yeah. Everybody says hi to me. I don't usually get where's the babes, but yeah. I do get. <laughs> I get. You know what I get a lot? Of? Garbage men love me. Oh, garbage men. They love me. I got one guy. Said, some guy says, "Hey, man, I was. I took my dog out to get pee pee pads like at two in the morning, yeah. and he goes, are you the night rider?'" And I was so tired. I said, "No, no, man, I'm a lookalike." And he goes, "That's right. He's a freaking lookalike." <laughs> He's a looking like man, and he, he walks out screaming to the whole street. I'm a looking like, and I walked away, and I said to my dog, "It's all, it's okay, honey. It's, yeah. it's not California. It's New exactly. York." Exactly. They have to calm the dogs down. And the dog is freaking out. The dog. There's so many smells. I mean, no. the dog just goes down the thing. He doesn't know where to pee. Yeah, I'll bet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this dog is like, oh, I like this. You're gonna stuff. have to get him puppy Prozac, I think. Yeah. Because <laughs> dogs all freak out when they just come to New York. They kill. They freak. Um. Spooky things are happening at your apartment, someone told me. I went into my apartment, and uh, the, the maid came up to me, and I said, Look, I'm, I, can, can you kind of fold things for me? I, I, it's, I, I, I had no idea the rehearsals were going to be this intense, and I'm really having a nervous breakdown. I can't even get my clothes washed. And she said, Sure, so I gave her some money, and she said, Oh, you're doing Jekyll and Hyde? I said, Yes. Yeah. She goes, Oh, Mr. Brickus stayed here. I said, Leslie Brickus, the man who wrote the show with Frank Wildhorn? She said, Yes, I said, oh, did he stay? He said, no, he wrote Jekyll and Hyde in this apartment. Wow. And I went, well, 
I said, well, um, are you sure he wrote it? She goes, yes, I took care of him four years ago. He wrote the show. It took him five months. And so I'm in the same apartment that Leslie Brick has That's was in. That's amazing, huh? Yeah, and also Edward Mulhera, who played Devin on Knight Rider, he passed away. And um, right before Edward died, you know, I said I was going to Broadway. And he goes, and, and Edward started you know, on Broadway here in My Fair Lady. And he said, murder them for both of us, you know. Right. It was one of these classic perfect deaths. And then I walked on stage and Barry Ingham, who's in the show, um, said I was best friends with Edward Mulhair, so the first night we dedicated the show to Edward and uh, kind of watched over me. Yeah. Made sure that, uh, hello darling, hit your, hit your marks and don't forget your lines. Exactly. You know, so it was wonderful to have this kind of energy. There's around. nothing like the emotion when you're there. I remember opening that on Broadway, uh, I sobbed like a baby. Remember oh. John? In the curtain call? Oh my God, I did the same sobbing, thing. sobbing like I couldn't control it. I couldn't even bow. My wife said, you fell over on your bow. I said, oh my God, honey, I was, I was just, all came out of yeah, me. Yeah. I was, you know, the, the <laughs> It's the first time I got through the show without stopping. Right. You know, yeah. so I was thanking everybody. Plymouth Theater, go see it oh. Jekyll and Hyde. And my movie, I've got this movie. It's oh, like, that's like right. in Seattle. One True Love. It, it's One True Love. It's really so much like your movie. Excellent. It's a true story. I call it a chick flick. Bring lots of tissues. Because it's a true story about a, a guy who rescues a girl. And then eight years later, they finally get back together. And she couldn't see him because she was burned. And, and he meets her and they connect. And she hears the voice and they find each other. And it's a true story. And I met the people. And it's on um, October 25th. Yes, on Wednesday at CBS, October on CBS. 25th. So, yeah, it's Look for that at 9 o'clock. David, lovely to see you, you as always. You're the best.